So dramatic. All right, so this is uh, Gabe LeBlanc, Hello. and you're with a community called Eco Factory, but you have a lot of other things going on. But Correct. Well, tell us what's happening today. Sure. Uh, well, I am here with Eco Factory, but today we're representing uh, 350.org. Uh, 350.org is an organization that is promoting the number 350. Why is 350 important? Well, I'll tell you. 350 represents what scientists believe is the amount of sustainable CO2 that our atmosphere can, can absorb and still remain a system that is well intact. As you begin to exceed that number, 350 parts per million CO2, uh, we run the risk of uh, hitting a tipping point, an irreversible tipping point. This is where the polar caps uh, begin melting at an even faster rate than we've ever seen before, uh, where uh, CO2 stores in places like the tundra in Canada and in various other places release, and that we hit a point where things become irreversible. Today, we are past 350 parts per million CO2. We are at roughly 390 parts per million. And so the idea is today, uh, which is uh, Climate Change Awareness Day, that's October 24th. Uh, 4,800 and some odd people or organizations from around the world are getting together in their local communities and their towns and their cities to talk about the importance of 350 and to make 350 a real number that you should focus on. The idea is that greenhouse gases do contribute to climate change. If you're a believer in climate change, or if you have questions about climate change, or if you just want to figure out what this is all about, I highly recommend you go to 350.org and learn more. So Gabe, I'm, I cut you off before, but tell us a little bit about EcoFactory. Well, EcoFactory is a news entity, but it's also a social network, and, and our uh, objective is to create relevant, meaningful information to people who are interested in environmental issues and social issues. Uh, that affect our planet, that affect our communities, and affect people around the world. Uh, we cover everything from politics to initiatives to scientific studies. Uh, there's a lot of news there, but there's also blogs, there's also podcasts, and there are videos as well. So we have a lot of information. We try to make it very media rich so that people who like video or people who prefer podcasting or want to listen to it in their car, or people who just want to read the text, uh, there's something there for everybody. And we, we very much want people to come and join our organization and contribute and be a world changer. And the idea is that you are not alone. There are other people who care about the important issues uh, that are face our, our, our future, that face our children. I'm one of them. Uh, but uh, we need more support and more users and more people to come to our website. Our website is ecofactory.com. And you guys are completely local right here in Orlando? We're based in Orlando, but all of our information spans, you know, all around the world. So uh, we, we do cover a lot of stuff locally in Orlando because, well, we care about our community, too. And so we feel it's important for us to, you know, to, to get our hands dirty and to get involved in various different community initiatives. And so we do that. But we don't think just local. We think in terms of global as well. So we're interested very much in what's going on in Australia, what's going on in China, what's going on uh, in Africa and South America and around the world. So uh, we, care about, we care about the future of humanity. We care about the planet. All right, Gabe. Uh, thanks very much. Thank you very much.